And the FBI now looking into a driver who hit a group of pedestrians in Sunnyvale. Police now saying that this could be a case of domestic terrorism. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. Police in Sunnyvale now say that crash may have been intentional. KPX 5's Ann Makovic is live with why the feds are now involved. Ann? Dan, eight people were taken to the hospital. Police are going to give us more information about their condition a little bit later on this afternoon at 3 p.m., as well as release the name of the driver they believe plowed into this crowd on purpose. It was 6.40 last night when the driver of this black Corolla plowed through a crosswalk on El Camino Real and drove up on the sidewalk where he continued to hit people. Eight people were injured, some in critical condition. The youngest patient is a 13-year-old girl. After careening through the crowd, the driver crashed into this tree. He came out of his vehicle and basically um, gave up. Uh, it looks like he was waiting for the police to arrive on scene. He's been in police custody ever since. This intersection is surrounded by busy shopping centers and there were a lot of people nearby. We had no idea what happened. There was two uh, male um, bodies lying on the cement. They were hit by the, by the driver. Several witnesses told police there were no signs the driver tried to avoid the crash. Information corroborated on scene where investigators found no skid marks. They say the driver may have even accelerated at the last minute. There is an active investigation going on to determine the motivation and uh, motive as to what um, led him to do this. Among the charges, the driver could face assault with a deadly weapon or attempted homicide. They will be releasing more information on the suspect as well as his mug shot at 3 this afternoon. They've been spending the morning talking with people who work with him, who live near him, and they're hoping that more witnesses will come forward. Live in Sunnyvale, Ann Makovic, KPIX 5. And right now, police are searching an apartment complex in Sunnyvale that may be connected with the crash investigation. These are pictures just in from the scene. It's unclear exactly what authorities are looking for. We'll have much more on this developing story coming up on the KPIX 5 News at 5 o'clock.